And finally, let's look at torque. Torque can be demonstrated with Newton's third law of motion, which states that each action produces an equal and opposite reaction. In a conventional airplane with propellers that rotate clockwise when viewed from the rear of the aircraft, the torque generated by the engine will cause a left rolling moment to the airframe. With the effect of torque in a conventional twin-engine airplane being produced around the engine's crankshaft, and both are the same distance from the aircraft's centerline, neither engine would be considered the critical engine by definition, since each engine is creating the same amount of torque in the same direction. But when we consider torque along the asymmetrical thrust resulting from power loss on one engine, we see why torque can be another factor. If we look at the right engine being inoperative with the propeller windmilling, the asymmetrical thrust of the left engine yaws the aircraft to the right. The torque of the left engine generates a rolling moment to the left, helping to offset the effect of the yaw with the right engine inoperative.